hello guys welcome to my video in this video I will discuss about some bad files so here are four bad files that I have created these bad files will help you push your project files from your local PC to github repository rather than typing command every time you can just run the bat file and you can perform your operation so before starting the process let's understand about the bat files available here so we can see the name of the bat files they have been named very carefully to represent the order of their action so this bad file the first one for first time file upload only so it will be used for the first time to upload the file this from second on the second bad file will be used and if the second bad file fail the third bad file will be used to push the file to the repository if the third file also fails then only the fourth file will be used so in this video we will push a file called php info.php to our github repository now we can see there is one more file called dot git ignore if we see the content of this file we can see the name of the files present in our folder except php.info have been mentioned here meaning while uploading or pushing the files to the repository along with php.info these five files would also be pushed into our github repository so to prevent these four files from being pushed to our repository dot git ignore file is created every file name that is mentioned there will be ignored while pushing it to the repository so now let's go to github so i will sign it sign in after signing into the github I will create one new repository let's say I will name the repository as bad file test it will be a let's say I will keep it a private repository I will not add a readme file and I will create a repository now I'll go to my bad file folders for first time I will use this file let's say cs take where email take where at the red gmail.com gitlab project url so for this will copy the project url from our gitlab github though it has been written here as gitlab project you can just change it in your bad file this is valid for github as well so i'll place it here and i will press enter commit message first commit and press enter so you can see our process is done press enter and it will be closed now let's refresh our repository and we can see our file has been pushed into the github repository 
now let's say I will create one more file so to make the changes seen into the github from the second time we will use second bad files so let's say I will write the commit message as second commit and press enter you can see our task is completed now press enter and when we will replace it our file has been pushed to the github repository here. so our bad file is working properly now this third and fourth file comes into play when you are sharing the repository meaning the same repository is being used by different persons to push the changes into the repository and to extract the changes from the repository so let's see the content of the repository uh, bad files one by one this is the content of the first bad file this is the content of second bad file this is the content of third bad file and this is the content of fourth bad file if you are a single use single user of a repository he, just first and second bad file will do your job don't worry I will provide the code of these bad files just click on the link below and you will be redirected to a blog where you will get the code of all these four bad files and you can use it so that's all for this video we will meet in next video thank you if you like the video please do